Hey everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to talk about the new Meta Andromeda update. This is a newly made update by Meta, previously known as Facebook, and this has a huge impact on us advertisers, those who run campaigns on Meta. Now, I'm going to cover a lot of things in this video, so make sure you watch the whole thing, because by the end, you will understand what's going on in the back end of Meta and how you need to change how you advertise in Meta. So without further ado, let's get started. What actually has changed? Let's talk about that first. So primarily looking at this scenario, two things have changed. First of all, Meta's way of delivering our ads, how Meta uses AI technology to deliver our ads to the right audience, that actually has changed in this update. Secondly, because of this process, because of how Meta has changed how they deliver our ads, our process of creating ads, our process of creating campaigns have changed as well. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but people are seeing more relevant ads lately on Facebook and Instagram. And at the same time, this is just for us advertisers. Meta has taken away a lot of targeting options because when you don't have interest-based targeting anymore, when interest-based targeting is not working, when exclusion is not there, loads of other targeting options are vanishing every day. These two statements actually oppose each other because if people are seeing more relevant ads, then that must mean that I get to do a lot more targeting on Meta, right? And that's not true because the more relevant ads people keep seeing on Meta, the more we see that our targeting options are gone. But how is that possible? And that is possible because Meta is taking over responsibility to find the best audience for us. And how does Meta do that? Meta does that by looking at our creatives, looking at our ad images, our videos, our headlines, our descriptions, our ad copies, looking at everything and then using AI technology to decide what would be the best audience, what would be the best person for our ad who has the highest chance of converting after seeing my ad. And this is where Andromeda comes in. This is what the update is all about. The Andromeda update, few radically speaking about it, is a combination of updates on the software side and the hardware side in Meta. So the software is basically the AI algorithm or the AI technology, where the hardware is, if you are familiar with AI technology or if you know how AI technology works, basically any AI algorithm needs to run on a GPU and a GPU is basically a graphics processing unit. So what Meta has done is they collaborated with NVIDIA and they're using Grace Hopper chips, which are these super massive, super efficient graphics processing unit. And they're now running their AI algorithm on NVIDIA Grace Hopper chips now, which make the process of delivering or process of retrieving super efficient because they have collaborated with a higher power GPU now to run their AI algorithm that basically serves our ads. The Andromeda update or the Andromeda can filter out the right ads for the right person from millions of ad candidates in a very short amount of time. And that's basically the change. And that's basically the update from a user point of view. Think about it. You're browsing Facebook and you may need a lot of things. And there's millions of things that you can see an ad for. But Andromeda has the data, has the learning to decide what will be the right ad for you. So you have the highest chance of converting. Think about it. This, this makes a huge difference because if Andromeda can make this decision, what's the right ad for you? So you have the highest chance of converting in a very short amount of time. It basically goes through millions of ad candidates in a very short amount of time and that's basically it hey everyone just wanted to take a quick moment to share my school community where if you join you get to ask me questions about issues you're facing on go high level ads automation ai you can also be a part of the weekly coaching sessions where i conduct training on many different topics and we do a q a session after that besides you get free access to a lot of my courses that i'm not uploading on youtube anymore some of them you can already see on the screen also there are members only discounts so if you join you get 50 percent off on my courses, my snapshots, my funnels, everything. That's pretty much what I want to share. See you on the other side. Now let's talk about retrieval. Retrieval is basically the process of showing the right ads to the right audience. And if you think about it, again, go back to that example. A person browsing Facebook or Instagram, he may need a million things. So there's tons of things that he could see ads for. But the retrieval process basically finds the right ad for that time for that person. And it basically solves this problem, which ad is suitable for which individual in which version, which ad basically means which service or product ad, which individual means the, the person, which version means, is it an image? Is it a video? Is it a carousel? So Meta Andromeda, or just say Meta, has the data on each person, each individual, on which type of ad he or she likes. And this process can take 
ages for any standard linear algorithm. It may take ages for them to find out because there's millions of data, millions of people running ads. But this process is 100 times faster than the old method. And this has become possible because Meta has collaborated with NVIDIA and they're running their algorithm on Grasshopper chips now. That's basically the update. This is basically the retrieval process. We don't have to go into the detail, and this is something I found in the official documentation. I'm just showing you this for reference, but I will also link that Meta's official documentation in this video's description so you can find it out as well. This is basically the new retrieval process. As you can see, Meta has joined forces with NVIDIA, and this is how they retrieve our ads now for the right person in the right time. What are the factors that Meta uses to decide whether it's a right audience? Now, if you are running a campaign, how does Meta find you the right audience? Meta finds the right audience based on these few things, past ad interaction. So if a person has interacted with Meta ads before, Meta has that data. So Meta knows what type of ad this person likes. Meta knows, does this person like an image or a video or a carousel? Or does this person like seeing ads in story reels or in newsfeed or in the sidebar in the right side on the left side? Meta has that information. Meta browsing history. So if a person using Facebook, Instagram, Meta knows what this person likes. Meta knows what this person doesn't like. Demographics, age, gender, location. All that stuff makes a difference. Information they have provided to Meta. So when they're opening an Instagram profile or Facebook profile or Facebook page, Meta has information that they've provided when creating those or when someone updates their profile, when someone puts a status, when someone puts a story. Meta has all those information and based on this, Meta finds you the right audience. One more important thing in this Andromeda update is Andromeda is able to serve meaningful ads. Which means, if you have noticed in the past, when you interacted with a specific ad, let's say a laptop ad, you saw a laptop ad and then you clicked on it, maybe you just saw a video of a laptop ad. What used to happen in the past is you would see more laptop ads in the next few days, or as you keep browsing Facebook and Instagram, you would see more ads for a laptop. But now, let's say you interact with a laptop ad, let's say you watch a laptop ad video, and you click on it and purchase a laptop. Meta somehow finds it. Now what's gonna happen is in the next few days, you will see ads for laptop bags or portable hard drives or wireless mouse, whatever is the next step. So it basically creates a dynamic customer journey and that's possible because of Andromeda. Andromeda has that ability to find out what will be the right ad for the right time. How do we run ads now? So we know all these updates. Okay, we are totally aware now what has changed in Andromeda, how Andromeda delivers our ad to the right people. Now, what do we need to do? We need to worry less about audience targeting. And this is something that I've been talking about for ages. We need to worry less about audience testing, audience targeting. We can still get very, very good results with broad targeting. So as long as we are using Advantage Plus audience, because of the new Meta Andromeda update, we now have a high chance of getting really good results with just broad targeting. Don't do any interest-based targeting. Don't do localized don't do retargeting, just do a campaign under that, just have a broad audience and make sure you have Advantage Plus on. So one campaign, one broad ad set with Advantage Plus on. And this is the difference between the old method and the new method because of Andromeda. Previously, we used to have, once we found our right audience, which we don't need right now, once we found our right audience, we used to have three ads under one ad set and not more than that. Now it's the entire opposite thing because now we need 10 plus ads or we need at least maybe 10 ads to get the best ad. Now, what needs to happen now is we need to use AI, maybe ChatGPT or Claude or Gemini to generate more creatives, more headlines, more ad copies, more descriptions. And we will look at how to do the new style of running campaigns, but the definition of winning ads have changed now. So what we used to call winning ad is the ad with the lowest cost per result, the highest reach, the highest impression, the highest CTR. People would see an ad and out of 100 people, let's say five people clicked and that's a 5% CTR. So those were definitions of a winning ad on Meta, but that's changed now because of these different types of combinations, because you're doing a lot more ads now and you'll be doing a lot more combinations in the ads. The definition of winning has changed because any of these combinations Let's say a specific combination worked for someone. This same combination may not work for the other person. So you need to keep doing more ads. You can't really just start off with 15 or 20 ads and then narrow it down to three or four. That's not how it's going to work. Because if you keep doing ads and in that ad, you provide a lot more variations. Let's say you do an image ad, but in that image ad, 
you put five ad copies, you put five headlines, you put five descriptions, you use different types of images. What's going to happen is Meta is going to create permutations and combinations of different ads and then keep serving it to different people. And now because of that retrieval process, let's go back to the retrieval word, retrieval basically makes it very fast to find the right audience using those combinations and permutations. If you do 10 ads and Meta creates variations of those 10 ads and make a thousand of them, it's really, really quick for Meta to find the best combination among those thousands because of the retrieval process, because of the Andromeda update. To sum up, the definition of winning ads have changed now because Meta makes countless combinations of your ads. So a combination may work for someone, but they may not work for others. And we will look at it in practical when we uh, go to our ads manager shortly. Now let's talk about the creative diversity. Obviously we need to try more ads like 10, 15 under one ad set. Previously we used to do three or five, not more than that. I used to stick with three. Now we need to do 10 to 15. Also we need to keep an eye on the budget so it doesn't spread too thin. Let's say we're spending five pounds per ad set and we have 15 ads under that. It's not going to work because Meta is going to create combinations and it, it's really fast for Meta, but it still needs budget to serve, right? So you need to keep an eye on budget and it's really difficult for me to provide a specific number, like an ideal budget for your ad set because it depends on the service, locations, time and lots of stuff. You can just make some calculations and say, okay, this is a budget that if I assign to my ad set, the ads are going to serve well. Try images, videos, carousels, etc. because these are different types of variations and Meta is going to create way more variations if you provide these. And the most important thing is refresh creatives every one to two weeks, replacing low performing ones with variations of winning ones so if you have 10 ads running under one ad set within one or two weeks you'll find the ones that are working within uh, one to two weeks you'll find the ones that are not working so you basically need to replace those with the high performing ones or create variations of high performing ones and this is where ai comes in in the official document of meta andromeda update they've clearly stated that the ai generated content will be prioritized so meta has basically motivated you to use ai to generate more ad creatives more headlines more ad copies so you can just go ahead and do that now. Okay, now we are on our ads manager, adsmanager.facebook.com. What we're going to do is create a campaign so I can show you what I meant when I said you need to do more creative diversity. So let's just create a campaign and we will say our objective is leads. We will hit continue. As soon as we do this, it will create a campaign for us and we will say ad set budget. It doesn't really make a difference because we will be doing one ad set only. So if you do campaign budget, that's totally fine, but you can do ad set budget as well. So we will go to the ad set and then assign a budget. Let's say I usually start off with 35 to 50 or sometimes 50, 60 dollars a day. In this example, I'll do 50 pounds a day. And now let's go to our ad. So when creating our ad, we can still use lead forms. That's totally fine. Usually landing pages work better in terms of lead quality, but you can still stick with lead forms as long as you have good qualification process in the forms like qualification questions. You should be getting good leads from there. So we will go to the ad creative section, set up creative. Let's say we want to use an image ad. Let's say I want to use this image. Now we will hit next and we will select the right sizes. We can also do variations using Canva. So you can resize the square image to a vertical and horizontal as well. And then you can change those here. I'm not going to do that in this example. Just so you know, you have the option to do that using Canva. If we do next, here is where you get to do a lot more variations now. So this used to be in the past as well, like this was already there. But because of the Andromeda update, this is way more important than before. So this is the first ad copy. As you did the first ad copy, which appears on top of the image, you get to create another one. So this is ad copy two. And then you can create variations of these using ChatGPT. So just provide a provide an ad copy and then say, I want four more. So this is ad copy three. So you'll keep creating ad copies and I think they do five. So you, you have the option to do five ad copies and that's it. And now same thing goes for headlines. So headline one, and then as you do this headline two, you can do up to five headlines. And what's going to happen now is because you're providing this many variations in one single ad, and I'm not talking about dynamic creative or anything. I'm just doing this, right? Just, just static image ads. So the image will be served to some people with the first ad copy, to some people with the second one, to some people with the third one, fourth one, fifth one. 
Same thing goes for headlines. So you can realize the amount of permutations and combinations meta can do. Someone can see the ad with ad copy one and headline one. Someone can see it with ad copy two and headline three. Someone can see it with ad copy five and headline one. It's pretty random and meta has total control over it. And meta will do these shuffles and permutations and combinations to find the best one for you and basically find the right audience. Same thing goes for description, by the way. And when you're done, you just hit next and done. And similar to this, you can create 10, 15, 20, however many ads you want under the same ad set and make sure you have enough budget to make sure these ads are serving. That's basically it for this video. Hopefully you have better understanding of the Meta and Romita update. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions on this or if you want me to cover anything else regarding the Andromeda update or anything in general regarding high level Meta or Google ads. So with that being said, Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I will see you in the next one.